I am a long nail goddess and I've been one for now 16 years. My fiance absolutely adores my nails. He has a love for nails. I know everyone talks about the bathroom issue. There's always going to be something negative. I'm still a human being. I just love the artistry of nails. I love having art. This is just the equivalent of a tattoo or a piercing for me. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. High five. Nelly, beautiful job. My love for nails began when I was a child. I grew up in a very strict home. Mom and dad didn't allow lip gloss, nail polish, just a hoop earring, very simple. Mom wanted me to be very dainty and girly-like, and painting my nails at a young age just was not a part of our upbringing. So when I became an adult and had the ability to pay for my own nails to get done, I started. I started out early. I never got my nails normal, pedicure kind of thing. I've always wanted lens. So from 2007 to today, I've been a long nail goddess from that day moving forward, and it's been a wonderful journey. Yeah, I, I think it's to be realistic. Of course we have challenges with our nails. We just learn how to work around them and have resources to support whatever we need to do, like driving. I mean, because we cook together, he usually takes care of me, I take care of the vegetables. Minimal, minimal in the kitchen. And because I have an underlay and an overlay, it is important that I protect my nail polish and everything else, so generally he's the one who lifts. i will put that egg on here. There we go. I met my fiance Robert in January 2020 at the casino in Pennsylvania, and the first thing he noticed the far off were my nails. My first reaction to seeing Janine the first time, I was actually uh, taken back. I was astounded. I was amazed. I was like, is that possible? Did I see what I think I saw? He has a love for nails. He's had a love for nails from being a youngster, a young boy, looking at the Sears magazines, just admiring the color, the shapes. I don't like it. Well, at least now they'll know we can't eat. Yeah. <laughs> Women with long nails can't eat. We chew just like you. Were you attracted to my nails at first? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, you know, at first, you know, her nails were, I mean, it was a definite draw. But, you know, once you get to know Janine, you know, you see what a wonderful woman she is. She's, uh, she's incredible. I clean underneath, so this is the same regimen we do at the salon. I wash the top and the bottom separately. I have to. Both hands cannot fit in at the same time, obviously, because of these 12, 13, 14 inch nails. I clean under my nails with alcohol twice a week, unless we go out. We go out a lot. We go different places. We go to resorts and things like that. I take my alcohol pants with me. In regards to negative comments, they come with this territory with this world there's always going to be something negative some of the negative comments on my social media are why so long what's the mean what's the use and why do you how do you I know everyone talks about the bathroom issue for me um, you can't see me you know if you t if you smell me or something then you tell me but other than that um, yes I do find it crude and, and insulting the advice that I would like to give to anyone male or female that's looking to grow long nails is to be prepared you have to have a tough layer of skin for this life. I love my nails. That's art. We look at that as art. Today we're going to be going to Maria's Nail Salon and we're going to be meeting with Maria and my long nail guided sisters. I get my nails done every three weeks and every other week for reinforcement. Mostly I spend $300 on the care, maintenance, and the artistry of my nails. So as we prepare to go to Maria's, I am putting on the last piece of my outfit for the day, which is my knee-high boots. We're gonna use the tongue. I use them as a resource in my home as well as outside of my home when necessary. I'm trying to get a grip on the metal part. And we're going, and we're going, and we're going, and we're done. Any of my nail brothers and sisters in the nail world, this tool is definitely necessary. We also have stretch jewelry that we need. It works really well. So what I do is because I have, normally this is only taking a second, but because I have the brigades on, the buttons, I have to be very careful. Hi, Janine, how are you? Long Hi, time. Good, good to, to see, see you. you. Mm -hmm. Come in, come in. Great. I do buttons, I've been doing buttons since 2019. January 2019, I started doing all types of buttons. And um, as you can see, she aimed to please. She did exactly what I wanted and more. The girls put me up to challenge to where they bring me all these different designs and challenges, like they break their nails. Oh my God, it's not the end of the world. I'm like, I'll just patch her back up and it's just like glue it back on. So it's like, I don't know, I'm so used to it already. I'm impressed with her length. I would want her to go them longer so she could one day be a, a record, a Jenny's world record. But yeah, I, I, I cater to 
long nails, so it's like I'm impressed, but then again, I could be more impressed. So all done. You like it? I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. High five. Another beautiful job. This is Sean. This is my sweetheart to original long nail goddess as well. Today I'm very happy with the design that I have. I will probably really be wearing it for the entire month of March, celebrating St. Patrick's Day. I'm very happy. Again, Maria has done a fantastic job. I will not, at this particular juncture of my life, at 51, I have no intentions on cutting my nails anytime soon. I'm enjoying this life.